Today on BBU News, we bring information about upcoming dress-up days for the week of December 12th. Announcements on senior happenings such as cap and gown and grad bash information. And the latest update on how our winter sports teams are doing. Today is December 6th and BBU News starts now. Bull Sharks. I'm Peyton. And I'm Marcia. And you're watching BBN, BBN News. News. Our school is having a dress up week to show spirit for the upcoming holidays. Monday is holiday sock or hat day. If that's not your style, you can also come to school representing your cultural heritage or background or your favorite sports team. Not only that, music will be playing during lunch to express different cultures by the diversity committee. Tuesday is Ugly Sweater Day, so come to school in your tackiest cardigan. Wednesday, you get to dress up as your favorite holiday movie character. That should be good. On Thursday, come to school dressed as either Santa, his elves, or reindeer. And finally, on Friday, wear your favorite Christmas pajamas or onesies. On a more serious note, we move on to some important announcements for seniors. Please make sure you order your cap and gown on the link that Mrs. Brito provided. The deadline to make these purchases is January 15th, and the prices will go up next Thursday. Mrs. Brito will be in the Collaboration Center on December 14th from 7.05 to 7.45 in the morning, offering an open lab to assist seniors with ordering their caps and gowns. If you have a credit card to use for the purchase, remember to bring it. And who couldn't forget the special trip our seniors have been waiting for? The deposit of $80 to hold your spot is due by December 16th. Make sure to email Ms. Brito if you have any questions because there's only 100 seats left. Any seniors planning to attend Florida Southwestern State College but haven't applied yet are encouraged to attend FSW's Instant Decision Day on Wednesday, December 7th in the BSHS College and Career Center. Students must have at least a 2.0 GPA to be admitted during this event. See the College and Careers page of the BSHS student website to sign up. Now let's hear from Aiden for the latest update on our sports before we finish our show. What's up, Boy Sharks? Back in again with your BB and Sports News. The winter sports season is officially underway, and our wrestling team had their first match of the season against some of the best teams in the state at the Gary Fry's duels last weekend. Connor Stutson went 7-0 with six pins, followed by Riley Hyde, Arth Preciado, and Taj Van Hoos, all getting four impressive wins. The wrestling team is back in action this Saturday at SFCA. Let's move from the mat to the court. The boys' basketball team bounced back from Tuesday's loss with a big win last Friday night against Marco Island Academy, coming out on top to 73-45. to Our leading scorers were Wesley Matthews with 23 points, followed by Luke King with 10 points. All together, the Bull Sharks had 33 rebounds to take Marco by surprise. They're back in action Friday night at home as they take on Cypress Lake High School. Varsity starts at 7.30, so make sure you come out and get your tickets at GoFan.co. All of our winter sports play tonight, and in no surprise, it will be against Cypress Lake. The girls' basketball team is away at Cypress, coming off from a tough loss against Baron Collier last night. The girls' soccer team is also away at Cypress Lake, and then will return home tomorrow to take down Canterbury. Here at Bonita High, we will host the boys' soccer game, which will start at 7.30. Don't forget that the girls' weightlifting team has a meet this afternoon shortly after school. At 3 p.m., make sure to come out and support your Lady Bull Sharks. In other news, anyone interested in playing spring sports, please make sure you get your athletic clearance, physicals, and paperwork updated soon. You will need a new physical if your last one expires before the end of the school year. Spring sports will begin in January. Baseball and softball will begin throwing conditioning the week we return from Christmas break. You will not be able to participate if you don't have your clearance submitted and approved. Please check with the athletic department or the head coach of your sport if they have any questions. Before I sign off, let's take a look at one of our special athletes we have here at Bonita High. Vanessa Kinley may not have made states for our school, but she's accomplishing bigger things. Let's take a look. I've been swimming for seven years. I started in fifth grade and I'm 12th grade now. So I took a break. I did volleyball ninth through 11th grade. And then in 11th grade, I did swim at the same time. And then 12th grade, I really found that swim was my sport and I had succeeded in it. We had so much chemistry. We felt like brothers and sisters. And I think if you asked everyone, even the coach, she would say the same thing. This year, I committed individually in the 100 breaststroke. Um, I finally got under 120. I got a 119. So that was a big achievement of mine. And then I retired. 
I was enjoying retirement. It was about two weeks long. I was looking into joining the FGCU swim club since I'm dual enrolled and I would be able to compete with them. And I never went to practices and they had a home meet. I decided to show up. And the first race that I did was a 50 breast and I jumped out in the water and they said, your time qualified for the national cut, you're going to Ohio in March. It feels very honoring to do that as a high school student because the college students are always so impressed when I say that I'm in high school. And it is just very cool that I can do that before I graduate. I can continue the sport that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's really all just about wanting to do it. Like I, I find the time to do it. I schedule my classes around the extracurriculars. If a class doesn't fit, I'll take it next semester. Um, but while I'm in high school, that time frame of I can only do this in the four years that I'm here, once I graduate, I can't do it. That really just pushes me to try everything that I can. Amazing accomplishments, Vanessa. That's all the sports talk I have for you. Let's send it back to the anchors. Thanks, Aiden. Now we have two announcements left. If there's anyone interested in taking Saturday driver's education with Coach Dombrowski, next semester, please stop by the weight room and see him. Or send him an email. Space is limited, so please register for the class before winter break on December 21st. The class will start the middle of January. Finally, mock trial will meet this week on Thursday in room 1212 after school till 245. Make sure to bring your trial binder and have a ride by that time. Well, that's all the news we have for today. And remember, Bull Sharks, just, just keep, keep swimming. swimming.